Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, two leading human rights lawyers face a tribunal next week over false claims against British soldiers during the Iraq War. Martin Day and Sapna Malik risk being struck off by the Solicitor's Disciplinary Tribunal if they're found guilty of 19 charges alleging misconduct, which they deny. They and their firm claim the regulators may have been lent on by the Ministry of Defence, who accused them of perpetrating an industrial scale of claims. Here's our senior Home Affairs correspondent, Simon Israel. The prosecution of this eminent firm stems from a public inquiry into allegations that detainees were tortured and put to death by British soldiers during the Iraq war. But a public inquiry was damning of so-called witnesses to these alleged atrocities, witnesses whose claims for compensation were being handled by Lee Day. The vast majority of the allegations made against the British military were wholly and entirely without merit or justification. The latest figures from Lee Day itself reveal it submitted claims for damages for more than 950 Iraqis. 320 cases have been settled, 35 dropped and 600 remain, while £22 million has been paid out in compensation by the MOD. It resulted in... But from next week, the al Swadi inquiry will come back to haunt the firm. We take on cases against the largest multinationals in our country. It will face prosecution by the legal profession's own regulators. There are 19 charges alleging misconduct, all denied. One alleges improper conduct at this 2008 press conference, where Martin Day outlined the case against the MOD. There have been too many instances in the past where there has been conspiracies by the British Army, by British soldiers, to cover up terrible deeds in Iraq. It's still sadly the case that the British Army, when it comes to these sorts of incidents, does seem to have the ability to close ranks. A recent select committee inquiry blamed not just the law firms, but the MOD itself for generating the cases with little supporting evidence. If soldiers have done anything wrong, then fine, they should be investigated. They, the soldiers are subject to law, same as anybody else. But we don't need these lawyers set up earning enormous amounts of money to try and do the job that the government and the, and the public prosecution service ought to be doing. Martin Day and his firm have gained a reputation for class actions on an international scale. British prisoners of war against Japan. Kenyans against the UK government over the Mau Mau uprisings and Nigerians against Shell over oil spills. Next week's prosecution puts that at risk and individual lawyers in danger of being struck off. They strenuously deny the accusations of professional misconduct and will suggest there's been Whitehall pressure to bring this case. Simon Israel reporting. I've been